What's going on YouTube, GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the PassFab activation unlocker in order to bypass the iCloud activation screen on your iPhone 10 or older. So this one can be done on iOS 14.8 or older and it supports multiple devices. Now the tool is available here on the PassFab website. It's called PassFab activation unlocker. And as you can see, it supports iOS 12 up to 14.8. And it also supports multiple devices, including the iPhone 10, 8, 8 plus, and of course, 7, 7 plus and so on. So the program is available for both Windows and Mac OS. There is a free trial available if you want to test out the program and it can bypass this screen here, the activation lock screen. If you forgot your Apple ID and password or if you got scammed online and bought a device that is locked and the seller doesn't respond anymore, happened to me before. And of course that's actually great because you can also fix activation errors or enable to activate and so on. If your device has an older iOS which Apple doesn't support anymore, they don't activate anymore. You can also fix it with this. But do keep in mind that this is not going to work on the iPhone 12, 13, 11 and so on. Those are not supported. The iPhone 10 and 10 Max, those have a different chip and are not supported. So once you get a program, you press here free trial. You're going to get a DMG file if you're on a Mac or the EXE file if you're on Windows, which you're going to have to install. So once you do that, the program looks like this and you would have to click remove iCloud activation. Now in here, it tells you a couple of things. For example, the fact that you have to read the disclaimer, which I would definitely recommend you to do because it contains important information, especially the fact that this is going to jailbreak your device with Checkrain. This does use Checkrain in the background, this one here, which is the Checkrain jailbreak. And since Checkrain jailbreak doesn't support iOS 15, this program also doesn't at this time I'm making this video. And you have to keep in mind that this program will not make your device support phone calls or cellular connection and so on. And you cannot log in into an Apple ID in settings. You can only download applications from the App Store. And of course you can use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and so on but you're not going to be able to use phone calls or a SIM card or you know messages and stuff like that. The network capability of the device will not work and of course this bypass will be completely tethered which means that every time you reboot your phone you're going to have to redo the same procedure again in order to bypass the device because check rain is unfortunately tethered. So I would definitely recommend to go ahead and read all these in here because they are important but once you're comfortable with them you press next and then of course it's going to detect the device. It may take a couple of seconds and as you can see it says the jailbreak tool has downloaded successfully. After clicking start jailbreak, please follow the on-screen instructions and please keep the device connected to computer with USB cable when jailbreaking. So it downloaded Checkrain in here, probably the latest version of Checkrain. We press start and it will essentially open Checkrain. That's all it does. So at this point you're going to have to go here to options and allow untested iOS. And of course if your device is an iPhone 8, 8 plus or 10, you're going to have to press skip A11 BPR check here. If not, do not press that. And now I'm going to have to connect my device in recovery mode or normal mode. Normal mode is basically the setup screen where it asks for, you know, username and password. That's fine. So I'm going to put my device in recovery mode or in normal mode and I'm going to be right back. So once your device is detected, it's going to show up like this. And if you have allow untested iOS, there's not going to be a problem. You press start and now you have to follow the instructions here to put the device in DFU mode. Now these instructions will be different depending on what device you have. So I'm not going to bother telling you mine. They they might look similar, they might be similar, but depending on what device you have, they can be different. So once you do that, it's going to show you this. The device screen will remain black. In DFU mode, there is nothing on the screen. However, after it boots, it's going to show a lot of text on the screen. Do not mind it, just wait for the device to boot back to the setup screen and you will be good to go. So at this point it's booting fine and the device shows the Apple logo and that's it. It booted back to the setup screen and it says in here all done. If you see all done here you press done and that's it. You can close check rain and go back to pass fab activation unlocker. You press next in here and it says confirm device information. And as you can see it detected my device iPod 9.1 which is basically the latest iPod available, the iPod 7. Running iOS 14.8, the latest iOS 14 version. And I'm gonna press start to remove and that's it. At this point it's going to take only a couple of seconds and there you go. Remove the iCloud activation lock successfully. And yes, sure enough, my device now shows the home screen directly. I can open here QuickTime and start a new recording directly from the device. And as you can see, you can now see my screen. And you can see that I have Falza in there and Cydia and stuff because I have the Checkrain. And of course with Checkrain you can install Cydia no problem. So once you do that, not only you can bypass the iCloud activation, but you can also jailbreak your device as you can see from here. This device is actually bypassed. Past. I have bypassed it before, that's why I have CD and Falza and so on, because if I reboot this device now, it's going to need the same procedure done 
again you're going to have to go through all that every time you reboot your phone i know it sucks but that's the way it is it's the only method currently available so i'm thankful for that otherwise this device would be basically paperweight so yeah that's basically it. you press down and that's it so yeah thank you for watching that's basically it definitely check out their tool here passfab activation unlocker it's a great tool if you have an iphone 10 or older and it can definitely bypass icloud activation on those devices and you can of course even jailbreak the device thank you again for watching i am gf now check out the link below for the program and peace out.